Hi, in this video I'm going to show you what I did with the forms uh, in our Pharos database. So, and what I did is I created a main menu. When in the last video we worked on project main, I'm going to show you kind of the, the fun things that I did with that form. And then there's our video ideas form. Here's the sub form for project main. And then we have table profile. So uh, if I open up the main menu, it's just a very simple menu that has buttons that get to each of the other forms that I need to, to do. I did put an exit button here. And if I go into project updates, I did put a, deliberately put a close uh, form on the, uh, on the macro so that it would close the main menu. Another thing that I did was up here, you notice that the X is gone. The close button has been disabled, hoping that the users will use the close form button that was given to them. If they don't and they just close here, in other words, it's kind of a passive warning. If they just close here, it'll close the whole forms and they have to open the main menu again. But if they uh, kind of follow the, the path that I'd like them to follow, if they close the form, it opens up the main menu again and away they go. So I'm going to go look at the project updates form. This particular idea or this project that's currently in process is a, uh, is a reading of some Reddit articles about bad managers. And I, I make comments on them. So it, Robert, uh, my assistant, wrote it. And it's going to go in my leadership and management video series. And it's going to uh, profile basically an IT manager because it's talking about um, different things that uh, managers can do that are detrimental to actually managing or effectively managing a group. So if I click the down arrow here, uh, it directly links to my profile table where I've entered only one record at this point. Uh, this one goes to my playlists table that I have all the different playlists uh, for the topics that I cover on this site. And then of course it has Robert and myself as the writers of the script. And the idea here is malicious compliance. As we go through this, of course, we fill in the dates and later on we'll talk about the reports that we're gonna put in here to be able to collate the work in flight, the work that's been recorded and still on Robert's table to edit and um, show how that's progressing in those reports, but that'll be for another video. So over here though, one unique thing that I did is here we're going to tab over to the, the subscript, which we give numbers to order the order of the script. And here in my setting, I've got three entries here in the setting. So I'm gonna choose green screen and then the script would go here. Okay. So if I tab on to the next record, then I'm going to say I've got a second piece of the script, but this one is going to not be in the green screen. And oh no, I don't have the particular location that I want to have here in this script. So what I'm going to do is I, I want to film the next part in the pasture. And I'm going to click OK. And I get a dialog box here that says value isn't in the list. Do you want to add it? Now, this is not a normal behavior. I had to put some code in the background in order to make this work, but it's something that you can do. And I'm going to follow up with a specific video to show you exactly how to do that when, uh, when I get done with this video. So I'm going to say, OK, I'm going to add it. And it's not on the list. So do you want to edit the list? Yes, this allows me to see the whole list and see that it has now added pasture to the bottom part of that list. And I can now click OK. And now when it refreshes that combo box, there it has pasture at the bottom and I can now choose pasture and then I can move on. So that's a feature that I've wanted to put in a lot of my databases simply because a lot of times users won't know exactly the values in some of their dropdown lists. They think they know all of them, but when I get an inkling that a user might not know exactly what they want in that dropdown list or at least a full list of of those uh, items, I'll put in this particular feature. And of course, the script would go here. All right, and so we tab out that. Okay, I'm pretty well done with this. I'm going to go ahead and close the form. If I want to put in a new profile, 
I can do that. This is the profile for Lewis, my IT manager. And if I close the form here, you see that the navigation is fairly simple and easy to go through. So here's the video ideas input. So this is the malicious compliance idea. Um, and when I choose this, the only thing that I have not added to the form is the fact that profile, video series, and writer are duplicated on both forms. And so if I close this form, I really need to go in here and clean this part up, the series profile and, um, and the idea number, uh, the writer here. If I can have these three come from the other table, I'm going to do that. So that's something that I'm going to add after I get done here. But the whole focus of this particular uh, version is to give my user, which mainly is Robert, the ability to start pounding on it and seeing what features work and what features don't. So it's a it's a fairly robust prototype. Reports still to be added, so that's in an upcoming video. And then once uh, it's passed off and ready to go, uh, we'll spiff it up and get it ready for uh, for deployment. We'll take away some of the menu items and modify the ribbon and do some various other things. So hope you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe so that we can grow our channel. And uh, we we'll look forward to seeing you again later. Thanks.